Cross Choke Mastery Seminar, you guys. It's time. Why is it that there are a very select few people who when they mount on someone, it's guaranteed cross choke. It's, it's over. There's not even a debate. There's not even a panel to debate anything because they all went home early because it's game over. And other people mount and for their lives cannot finish one cross choke on even the white or blue belt in the gym who has half the experience that they have. What's missing? You guys, cross choke mastery seminar, we cover it all. Okay, from the initial shot, to the escape prevention, to the final compression. Every cross choke has these three phases. And you can mess up at any one phase and ruin your whole situation. Let me give you some key pointers on each phase to give you an idea of what we're talking about here. I'm mounted. The shot. When you're mounted on someone, hand goes in the collar, you want to loosen up, you put one hand in, palm up, solid. All you want is one free shot on this collar. The problem is he knows that. So what's he going to do? Have his hands ready to catch and make frames and really catch me and mess up my initial shot. Instead, what do we do? Go under. Punch. He's going to grab my hand. I got him. There's my shot. It's over. Now, well, the first phase is over. The point is, when you're setting up chokes here and you come under, someone grabs and starts pulling your hand. Watch what I do. I grab his hand. I pull it further south and I put my knee in this hole right here. Look. Grab my hand, Sam, with the other hand. That one's not gonna save you. This guy's dead. How long do I need him dead for? Literally 1.3 seconds. Because that's all it takes for me to shoot, shake, and connect. Now, now that the, the concrete, the cement has dried on his neck, meaning my hands are solid, I can let go of his arm, put my knees in the ground. At this point, Sam's gonna try to frame through my arms, right? There's two types of defense or escape strategies once you're locked in. One is frames, the other is bridges and rolls. The frame is neutralized, watch this. Not by keeping your arms straight, go back. But by literally bending and laying on your arms. Like try to push my elbow up in open space for a frame. You can't, because the bend of my arms is not conducive to opening that you would like to create. Go, there's no way. So you literally solidify your arms as you lay on top of the sandwich here, boom. And there's no way his hands are coming in now, done. Now the last part is the squeeze. If he doesn't bridge me, all I'm gonna do is lower my head to the side of the top arm, boom and put the back hook in. Because which way is he gonna roll me right now? Go ahead, that way. So as he rolls, I shoot my hook in and I smash his hips. When he settles the hips, I put my head down, expand my chest. And literally, the most common mistake I see in this one, and I can see it from a mile away, is people who don't put their head down and squeeze like this. This is an arm choke. This is deltoid muscles against his neck. And a strong guy with a hand can block that. But keep blocking, Sam, keep blocking. Keep blocking, keep blocking, keep blocking, keep blocking. That had nothing to do with deltoids. That had to do with two hands with vice-like grips on his collar. Palm up, palm down, thumb in, thumb out, thumb out, thumb in. And connecting my body so close that now all I do is expand my chest like a flower in the spring. And by opening it, my elbows go straight back and his head and his arteries get so compressed. So the arms don't have to muscle anything. They have to just connect and keep the connection and your back is where all the power comes from on the choke. But you can only incorporate your back if your body is glued to his during the pressure. The closer you are, the more back, the more pressure he feels and the less counterable and less frame entry space he has. Now here's the catch. If when your hands first land, Sam does not care about framing through. Instead, he just does a big bridge and roll and your hook is too late, you're gonna fall. And if you fall, you can still choke him unless he frames through, which is easier to do from the guard than it is from the mount because I don't have the ground trapping Sam's body like sandwiching him between me and the ground because there's no ground back there, he can frame much more easily. Let's go back. Okay, now check this out. Look at this. Two. Remember what we do, we go under, he defends. Boom, got it, there's my shot, got it. Thumb is in, ha <laughs> too late. Elbows bend. Everything's solid. He's getting ready for a roll. If my hook can go in preemptively, slow. Let's rotate a little. If my hook can go in right now, roll me, Sam. Boom, I neutral. Roll, roll, roll. He can't. Okay, however, if before I put my hook in, let's roll back. He rolls me, and my hook is too late. Pay attention. Roll slow. Hips high. Watch. Float the knee. Break the neck. Let's rotate. Watch this. When he bridges me this way, I'm going to float my knee to the mat, post my foot up here. Watch this. He will put my knee in position. Watch. Can you bridge me any higher? That's he can't, his hips can't touch me. Look, cause I'm like this now, I've posted my knee and my foot, which means I've elevated myself to where I'm in unbridgeable position. But that's not it, that's not it. 
from this unbridgeable position and the incredible base that I've created with this newfound knee post, watch this. You pull him towards the posted knee, completely flattening out his arched body position. Watch again from this angle. Hug the arms, watch his hips. High, freeze. Who pushed me into that position? I didn't jump my knee up. Sam's hips pushed my knee over there, slow. Ride, 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 boom. Boom, other side, bridge. Go. You got the idea. And you think, how many times would you like to do that? You were demonstrating for the friends at home. You were continuing and persisting to be a good, honorable partner. How many times would you do that before you say, okay, my roles are not working? After the first one, it's a waste of time <laughs> after that. <laughs> you guys. I did it for you. This is so critical. So what I'm pointing out here is this. As Sam mentioned before the video, the cross choke is the first gi choke, gi move you learn from the mount. One, two, rah. But for many people, it's never actually applied. It's crazy. Last one to master. First one to learn, last one to master. That's not a good situation. Okay? Why is that? Because everyone's focusing on this when they need to be focusing on this, on this, and on that. There are so many elements, right? There's the initial shot, there's the escape prevention, the elbows tight, head low, chest to chest, body tight, hooks in, escape prevention. And then there is the final roll prevention when they're gonna go emergency roll left or right. And you better have that kickstand, the back foot posted, the knee post on the front side, the foot post on the back side, and then you break his neck in the direction of the posted knee. When you do this, literally he will feel, he'll get lifted off the mat, his body will re-slam, boom. And the eye contact that he will make after that first slam. <laughs> Demoralizing. <laughs> to say the least. You guys, this is a game changer from the mount cross choke system of attack. But here's what's crazy. This, all this, is just one little glimpse into the system that is the cross choke mastery concept from the mount. There are seven other windows of observation we want to share with you guys. But where do you get those? At the cross choke mastery seminar. I don't know when it's happening. I don't know where it's happening except for November uh, next month in Melbourne or Sydney or whatever. And then somewhere else after that and then somewhere else after that. But if you're not learning, you're probably getting choked by someone who is. Okay, guys? Put the pieces together. Get to the seminar. Get the other seven windows. And let's take our cross chokes to the level that they should be at. Where when once you mount on someone, your hooks, your hips, your hands, it's such a united, systematic attack approach that the panel goes home early. Agreed. You read? That's what's up. Okay. For those of you who can't get to a seminar, no matter what, gracieuniversity.com, it's all there, you guys. That's what's crazy. Our grandfather's vision was to share the gift of Gracie Jiu-Jitsu with people all over the world. Thanks to global internet accessibility and the development of a revolutionary interactive online learning system, his dream came true and his legacy will live on forever. Gracie University, let us teach you everything he taught us.